Hi, I'm Rick Belt, the EV Mike Guy. Thanks for watching. Reading through our viewer mail, I came across this one from Paul in Atlanta, Georgia. Paul writes, Hey Rick, I just ordered the 309A for my RE20, and I understand some assembly will be required. I'm not the most mechanically inclined, and I wonder if there's some assembly tips that will make the job go smoother. Can you give me some pointers? Sure, Paul. I'll be glad to. That's a great question, and thanks so much for writing in for help. Yes, indeed, the 309A will show up as a box of hardware, but there are no special tools required for assembly. Let's take a close look at what you'll be working with. Okay, so the box will show up like this. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Let's take a look what's inside. Um, your product sheet is on top. Here is the inner frame that holds the microphone. I'm going to put that aside, get it out of the bag, and set it out here. So this is the inner frame. Here's a pack of four suspension cords. Here is an intermediate frame, which uh, I'll show you how that goes together. Here's a thing that looks like a horseshoe, and it's actually, we call this the bale. And uh, there's a pack of two thumb screws and nuts and some uh, washers. And then another item that's a uh, threaded insert and a uh, retaining screw, along with uh, some more paperwork. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and uh, clear the deck so I can begin assembling this. This item right here, which is the uh, uh, threaded insert or threaded coupler, I'm going to save that for last. I'm going to put it aside. But uh, this is the method that I found works the best for assembling the 309A. It's real simple, and uh, like I said, this is a fairly simple process and it'll probably help you a lot just to watch it, uh, watch it happen. So, what I want to do first is take the four suspension cords and mount them to the front half of the inner frame, the, the main frame that holds the mic. So these suspension cords have uh, retainers on either end and a little uh, flexible coupler in the middle and we'll show you what happens with these. So I find it works best to go ahead and stick them on the four corners of the four posts and uh, get them ready for later assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them on, and uh, it's a fairly simple process. Okay, so now the, the four suspension cords are, are halfway on this item. There's a uh, screw right here, it's a thumb screw, and this is what will actually be attaching to your microphone. So uh, when we get to that step of the process, I'll show you how that works. Now what I find that works best is <clears throat> to go ahead and assemble the inner frame to the intermediate frame first. So I'm going to go ahead and begin threading this up. The, uh, the intermediate part of the suspension cord goes over these corners of the intermediate frame. So I'm going to go and stick these on. Just like that. This one's stuck. Okay, so now we've got it halfway done. Now, I'm going to turn it upside down, leave it on the desktop like this, and begin tensioning around the uh, inner and intermediate frame so I have something firm to hold on to. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, but this is the way I like to do it. It just it works best for me uh, if I've got a surface to work with. So now the inner frame and the intermediate frame are assembled and put together. So this is what it looks like when it's in that state. Now it's time for this horseshoe, or what we call the bale. And this is what actually attaches to your boom. So what you're going to want to do is lay it out, and these two thumb screws and uh, nuts that were in that package. This is what attaches the inner frame 
or actually the intermediate frame, to the outer bale. And you take the, uh, the nuts off, let me do both of them, and get this ready. All right, so we've got the nuts and the washers separated. Now, the, the thumb screw is going to go through the bale first and then go through the washer. This is a nylon washer insert and then on into the inside portion of the intermediate frame. Now, the intermediate frame has a, uh, a cross, cross member in it and uh, it actually holds that nut in place once it begins, once you begin tightening it. Of course, now I'm in a hard place because I just dropped that nut and it fell off and I'm going to have to go retrieve it. It's fairly close by and I can reach it. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, so now I'm going to take the other side. I'm going to go through the bale into the nylon in, uh, threaded washer and then into the inner frame. Once again, there's a cross member in here that'll hold that nut tight. So here I've got this one beginning to thread. And now we've got it. So these two are actually, these thumb screws are actually what's going to be allowing you to rotate the uh, inner frame within the bale. So this is what it looks like assembled to this point. And these are the tighteners. Now it's time to bring in the microphone. And what you're going to want to do is take a look at your RE20 or uh, RE27 or the RE320. Down here on this mounting post is a, uh, a little pin. And that little pin has a spot in this 309A where it goes. There's a little slot right here in the uh, inner frame that that's going to slide through. So what you want to do is line that up with that slot and go ahead and slide it in. Now let me loosen this thumb screw so I can slide it all the way in. So let me bring that up so you can see. Okay. So now the, the RE20 is all the way in. I'm going to put that thumb screw back in. Now one of the tricks is once you get that in and, and in that slot, you want to rotate the mic just a little bit so that that, uh, that slot and the pin don't line up anymore. It'll make it more stable. So here's the 309A assembled with the microphone in it. Here's the tightening thumb screw to tighten the RE20. And at this point, we're just about done. Now what we're going to want to do is get it ready to assemble to the, uh, the boom. And that's where this item comes in. This item is the uh, threaded coupler that attaches to the 5H threaded uh, microphone boom. And then this item is the uh, coupling, this item is the coupling nut that will actually connect this to the threaded insert. Okay, so now we're ready to mount the 309A with the microphone in it onto the boom. You're going to want to take this threaded coupler and uh, mount it to the stud on the boom. Just like that. Now, this last thumb screw, which has a nice knurled knob on the side, goes through the uh, hole in the bale on the 309A and it attaches to the threaded insert on the microphone boom. So there we go. The RE20 is mounted in the 309A. 309A is mounted on the overhead boom and I can swivel this. The, uh, Neural knob is there to be tensioned just enough so you can swivel it. Uh, a lot of guys use this in a mobile fashion so you can move the mic around. And always make sure to keep enough tension on that uh, neural knob 
to keep the mic from falling off. But anyway, that's the uh, 309A assembled and mounted on a boom. So there you are, Paul. Assembling and deploying the 309A is really simple. I hope that helps. Just remember the 309A is for mounting the RE20, RE27ND, as well as the new RE320 studio mics. Thanks again for your question. So that's it for this show. Thanks again for tuning in, folks. This is Rick Bell, the EV Mic Guy. See you next time.